Hi everyone, welcome to Plar Academy. I really hope this video helps you out. If it does, I'd super appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, share it with your friends and leave a positive comment. Your support really keeps me motivated to create more great videos for you. What we'll cover. I've broken down the content in Unit 2, Waves and Electricity, just like you see here. And I've made sure to cover every topic exactly according to the Physics International A-Level Edexcel syllabus, which you can see right here. In this video, we're diving into Topic 4, Electricity, specifically focusing on electromotive force and potential difference. Let's get started! To distinguish the electromotive force, or EMF, and potential difference, or PD. Electromotive force is defined as the work done, or energy transferred, per unit charge of the power supply that driving charge around a complete circuit. Potential difference is defined as the work done, or energy transferred, per unit charge that passing charge through a component. The electromotive force is the other forms of energy such as chemical energy in batteries, or kinetic energy in generator, to transfer into the electrical energy. The potential difference is the electrical energy to transfer into the other forms of energy. The formula for the electromotive force can be written as E equals W divided by Q. Where E is EMF in volt, W is the work done or energy transferred in joule, and Q is the charge in coulombs. The formula for the potential difference can be written as V equals W divided by Q. Where V is PD in volt, W is the work done or energy transferred in joule, and Q is the charge in coulombs. The EMF and PD are measured in volt, and 1 volt is equivalent to 1 joule per coulomb. The circuit diagram is shown. The voltmeter readings across each resistor and power supply indicate the energy transferred to the component by each unit of charge. The voltmeter placed across the power supply measures the EMF of the supply as 12 volts, indicating that the battery provides 12 joule of electrical energy to each coulomb of charge that flows through the circuit. The voltmeter placed across the 20 ohm resistor measures the potential difference, PD, as 8 volts, meaning that 8 joule of electrical energy are converted to heat energy for every coulomb of charge passing through the resistor. The voltmeter placed across the 10 ohms resistor measures the potential difference, PD, as 4 volts, meaning that 4 joule of electrical energy are converted to heat energy for every coulomb of charge passing through the resistor. The current flows from higher voltage to lower voltage. The circuit diagram is shown. The EMF of the power supply is 12 volts, indicating the PD across the supply is also 12 volts. We know that the current flows from the positive to negative terminal. So, the voltage at point A equals 12 volts, and the voltage at point F equals 0. This causes the PD across AF equals 12 volts. We assume that the wire has no resistance, so no energy loss and no PD loss along the wire. The voltage at any point along the pink wire is 12 volt, and the voltage at any point along the green wire is 0 volt. So, the voltage at point A, B and E equals 12 volts. This causes the PD across AB, and BE equals 0. The voltage at point F, D and H equals 0. This causes the PD across DF, and DH equals 0. The PD across BC equals 8 volts, and voltage at point B equals 12 volts, so voltage at point C equals 4 volts. The PD across CD equals voltage at point C, minus voltage at point D, which is 4 minus 0 is equal to 4 volts. The PD across EG equals 3 volts, and voltage at point E equals 12 volts, so voltage at point G equals 9 volts. The PD across GH equals voltage at point G minus voltage at point H, which is 9 minus 0 is equal to 9 volts. The PD across GC equals voltage at point G minus voltage at point C, 
which is 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 volts. Exam style question. The photograph shows an electric skateboard. One particular type of electric skateboard uses an electric motor connected to a 22 volts rechargeable lithium ion battery. A fully charged battery is able to pass 36,000 coulombs of charge through the circuit and will allow continuous operation of the skateboard for 40 minutes. A. Calculate the total energy stored in a fully charged lithium ion battery. We use the equation V equals W over Q, where W is the energy transferred in joule, V is voltage in volt, and Q is charge in coulombs. We rearrange the equation as W equals V times Q. Substituting V as 22 volts, Q as 36,000 coulombs, we calculate the total energy stored in battery as 7.92 times 10 power 5 joule. You will get two marks from. Use the equation V equals W over Q. Correct the answer. B. The electrical skateboard travels at a speed of 16 kilometers per hour. 1. Calculate the time taken for the electric skateboard to travel 2 meters. We convert the distance 2 meters into kilometers resulting in 0.002 kilometers. We use the equation speed is distance divided by time. Then we rearrange the time to equal distance over speed, substituting distance as 0.002 kilometers and speed as 16 kilometers per hour. We get the time as 1.25 times 10 power negative four hours. You will get two marks from, use the equation speed equals distance over time. Correct the answer of time. B, two. While the electric skateboard is in use, the battery provides a constant current. Calculate the number of electrons that flow past a point in the circuit during the time taken for the electric skateboard to travel two meters. We use the equation I is Q over T, where I is the current in amperes, Q is charge in coulombs, and T is time in second. Substituting charge Q as 36,000 coulombs and time T as 40 minutes times 60 seconds. We get the current that flow in the skateboard as 15 amperes. We rearrange the equation as Q equals I times T. Substituting I as 15 amperes and T as 1.25 times 10 power negative 4 hours times 3600 second. This is because we convert the hour into second. We get the total charge used in 2 meters as 6.75 coulombs. As one electron carries the charge 1.6 times 10 power negative 19 coulombs, so, the number of electrons in 2 meters as 6.75 coulombs, dividing by 1.6 times 10 power negative 19 coulombs. We get the number of electron as 4.2 times 10 power 19 electrons for two significant figures. We will get three marks from, use the equation I equal Q over T. Calculate the total charge used in 2 meters. Correct the answer as 4.2 times 10 power 19 electrons. I really hope this video helps you out. If it does, I'd super appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, share it with your friends and leave a positive comment. Your support really keeps me motivated to create more great videos for you.